What's up, everybody? So I'm recording this on my phone right now because my uh, camera batteries are dead and I don't want to go charge them. I kind of I have what I want to say here. So I'm recording this right now. It is, uh, I guess, Halloween. It's October 31st, 2025. Uh, this week, one of some complicated story. I I'm going to make a video about this, I think. But one of our friends passed away this last week. And so it's been a very like reflective uh, time and very, very sad. And uh, again, like I said, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna make a full sort of memorial video for him in a different video. But uh, I was driving back from an office today that my two of my mentors office. And uh, this year has been like a very big year of reflection because I've, I've changed business models completely. Uh, I've, I've really changed a lot, I think, as a person, um, belief system, maturity, what's important, what's valuable. And then like something like this week happens and, and uh, an amazing person just dies. Um, so very reflective. And, and what I want to get across to you guys is like the importance of like what actually matters. I don't think I've really understood what mattered in life until this year. Now, granted, obviously the common sense things like, yeah, your family, right? Like your family, your friends, whatever. But I mean like really tactically, um, like I sold, I was thinking about this today. I, like I sold my G wagon. I was going to sell my watch and then I was like, oh, I should probably keep my watch. Um, just cause it's my first one and I'm, I'm driving my BMW back from their office. And I was like, I don't even care. Like, I don't even miss the stuff. Like the stuff used to be such an important thing, uh, in, in the info business and, and having a personal brand. I was like, I don't even care. Um, I don't even care that I haven't been doing X, Y, Z thing. I don't even care if I don't drive X thing. I don't care um, about anything really. And then it got me thinking like, what do I actually care about? And then the topic of this video, which is uh, you, you guys, you'll build your life around your North stars. Like whatever is important is what you will build your life around and you'll kind of reverse engineer backwards. And increasingly the only thing that matters, especially having people die and, and, and it's so finite is like, people and your work. That's all that matters, like your work and people. Like what a blessing it is to be able to actually work on something that you care about. And I think of this in the lens of like building a software company. I didn't love what I was doing the last couple of years. I, I don't I don't like posting for eyeballs. I don't like being controversial. I don't like generating attention. It's not like something that I innately enjoy, but I love building things. And so like building software this year, I could do that all the time. If I made no money from it, or if I made all the money in the world from it, I would still do it, I think. Just building things, whether it's software or, or something else. And that's the point of what I, I want to communicate in this video, is like, nothing matters, real, realistically. Like, nothing in your life matters, except for the work, and the journey, and the people in your life. Outside of that, nothing else matters. It doesn't matter what you drive. It doesn't matter where you live, maybe a little bit on like a tactical level, but like nothing matters. And I, I, I really, <laughs> I don't know if this is a profound thought for you guys watching this video, but it was for me. I was like, holy shit, I've never really realized that because I've always worried about all these different things. I'm like, oh, I got to do this. And a couple years ago, I was like, oh, I got to buy this car. And then it was like, oh, I got to go here. I got to do this. I got to make this video, whatever. None of that matters, bro. None of it matters. Like Ben passing away. What does everyone remember him for? Uh, his work. It was how good of a writer he was. How good of a, obviously how good of a person you are. But I mean, for the topic of this video, it's like, it's his work. It was his craft. It was how good he was at what he did, how much he enjoyed it, how consistent he was. Like Ben, ben wrote emails uh, like all the time. Like even, and again, I'm gonna make a video on this, but like Ben and I had like a falling out the last year and I still read his emails. <laughs> I still read those. Um, it's pretty profound. And I was listening to a podcast uh, the last couple of days, like at the gym, going to their office today. Brad Jacobs, he's founded like eight eight billion dollar companies or some crazy thing. And I was uh, I was listening to this podcast, the Founders Podcast, um, and he said like several times he was like, "You couldn't pay me enough money to not work on doing what I do. Like you couldn't pay me enough money to not do it." Meaning. 
there's no amount of money that he could make from doing what he was doing that would cause him to stop doing what he was doing, which is his work. He said he spent 95% of his time working. And now a lot of us and a lot of like just people in the world, you hear that and you're like, oh, working all the time, you have no life. It's because you're working on the wrong things because you don't know what actually is important. You don't know what actually matters to you. Hence the point of this video. You should work on something. You should build something that you can spend all of your time, all of your energy, all of your dedication towards, and you're happy. You're fulfilled. Like you're doing something that you want to do. If you're not, then that's not the right thing. Like it's a very, very simple concept. And I, it's, I don't know if this sounds like you guys watch this video and be like, oh, well, tell me something we don't know, Luke. But I just think the simplicity of that is so profound and it's not really something I've really thought about. But now going forward, um, I don't care about anything other than my work and being good at what I do. And I really have this conviction, have this strong feeling of over the next couple of years, I'm going to make so much money that I will never ever have to work again in my life. I think by 30, I will be up multi eight, or nine figures. I, I, I really, I really do. I'm, I'm that confident uh, from, from software. But even when I sell, like my goal always was like, oh, exit. I want a big exit so I can buy stuff. Yeah, like I, I do want to buy stuff and I will buy stuff. But like once I do that, then what? What are you going to do then? You're just going to sit and look at your stuff? Or are you going to become like uh, on the hedonistic treadmill and just like drink and do drugs and bang girls? Like, no. It's not good. It's going to destroy you. What would you then do? You would work on something else. It's the whole point. Like we are put on this earth to do nothing but build things to work and experience life. You experience life with people you love. Those are called memories. You work on something that you're passionate about, that you care about. That's called purpose, right? And I don't know why I've never been taught this before out of all of the information. I've consumed a lot of information. I've never been taught this. No one's ever talked about this before. I've never really heard this concept. Um, like this is what matters. This is all that matters. It's the only thing that matters. And as soon as you realize that, I think, I think it opens up this like very profound, uh, outlook and worldview on life of like, what do you want to do? What matters? What do you want to be remembered for? Because none of it matters. Like at the end of the day, nothing matters. This is all fake. I believe this is all just a temporary test anyway, and then you go to heaven or your soul is separated from God, whatever you believe. That's what I believe. Um, so like while you're here, the fact that it has no meaning is what gives it meaning because therefore, if it lacks meaning, whatever you give to it is the meaning like that's, that's what's now important. And so if from the, the topic of this video, if what is important is, what you work on and what you do and, and, and what you can actually pour your soul and your attention and your focus into, that's what matters. That's the meaning of life. That's what's important. And that's on a work level. Obviously people, like who cares about business? Like we would all throw our businesses away to bring back people we love that have died. You know, like hum humans, like uh, people always come first, of course. But I mean, on a work level, which is what you're all watching this channel for anyway, I really feel like that's um, just such an important thing. Like it's the thing, the number one thing. If you had to boil down all of your life to one thing, what is important is like, what is my work? What am I working on? What am I doing? And then that will really remove a lot of possibilities for you uh, as far as business models. Like, what are you, you going to do, bro? You, you're going to be a, uh, like, oh, yeah, I'm a content creator. I sell courses. Like, is that really the meaning of your life because your work is your meaning. If, if you are a business person, your work is your craft. Your craft should be a part of you because you should be obsessed with it. Uh, it's not like a half-assed thing. You should be all in, right? And if, if you are therefore all in, whatever you do is who you are. Um, and again, I know you're going to get into this woo-woo like, oh, I'm separation from what I do, whatever. I don't think that. I think you're all in. I think your soul bleeds through. Um, so think about that. I want you guys to just watch this video. Think about that. Think about, am I comfortable with, if I died today, 
people remembering my work as such. And would you like that? Would you be comfortable with that? Would that be what you want to be remembered for? And if it's not, you should probably be doing something else. Okay. And um, I think I've, I've learned this pretty early. I think 24, 25 is a good age to learn this. I know everybody will always be like, oh, I wish I learned this sooner. I actually, I think I learned a lot of what not to do uh, from 21 to now. And our life is just, it's been such a weird week, bro. It's so weird, so weird. I'm flying to Ohio uh, tomorrow to go to this funeral. Last time I was in Ohio was for my grandpa's funeral and to take his grave. It's just, it's very weird focus and build all these businesses and then people just die. And then you're like, well, what's the meaning of this? You know, it's the whole point of this video. You give meaning to it. Meaning is left up to you. It's in your hands. And I really think it matters what you work on. Do something you can pour your soul into. Do something you can pour every ounce of passion, creativity, purpose, everything that you have, pour it into what you do. Um, and it's a life well lived. I think, I think that's the secret. So we'll post this video. It's a beautiful day here in Miami. Absolutely, incredibly blessed by God. And uh, I hope that helps. So think about this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.